A crime ring fueled by opioids and sex. Tonight, the mother of the alleged ringleader is speaking out. The state attorney general claims this dirty enterprise operated in Southfield, Madison Heights, and Warren. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is live with charges and a mother's defense. Simon, what's she saying? Well, we'll get to that in just a second, but first let me tell you, investigators say the drug and human trafficking ring went on for nearly a year with women becoming addicted to pills like these and other drugs. It's an insidious methodology to trap these women in this situation. Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard calls it a dark and troubling world centered around opioid addiction. In both Oakland and Macomb counties, he says women were forced into prostitution at various hotels in exchange for highly addictive drugs. They find women either already have an addiction or can exploit some kind of personal challenge in their life. They use that addiction as both a tool to control them and to manipulate them into doing what they want. Today, Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte charging 38-year-old Melvin Niblett, 48-year-old Corey Cooper, 57-year-old Maurice Rushton, and 27-year-old Jasmine McGinnis with numerous felonies. Based on tips and findings by FBI agents, deputies, and other local police, prosecutors say drugs like cocaine and heroin were also sold in Warren, Madison Heights, and Southfield. I think they're trying to railroad him. Gloria Niblett, mother of accused ringleader Melvin Niblett, says she doesn't buy what's being said about her son. She admits he's made mistakes in life, even with drugs, but says he would never force women into prostitution. That's not true. Those girls was prostituting when he met them. So I want to know when did he get the ability to run a drug trafficking and human trafficking ring. He's not that type of person. I mean, he has sisters. He, he grew up with all sisters and a lot of women. So he's not that type of person. He's more of a protector. Now, all those charged are locked up tonight, facing a total of 24 felonies. They will be back in court in a week. Stephen Carolyn, back to you. Certainly some tough charges, Simon. So how much prison time are they facing if they indeed are convicted? Yeah, each of the four parties facing very serious charges, and each of them could get 20 years behind bars if convicted. You got to wonder if someone will decide to cooperate or take a plea deal so they can get a lesser sentence themselves. All right, we'll continue to follow it to the end. Thank you so much, Simon, for the live report.